Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Today's episode, we are going to focus on a very very important topic which is important for front-end engineers, back-end engineers as well as a full-stack developer. Today's topic is HTTP methods. The methods will be used by every single developer and QA engineer. When you are using from front end, you will know which method to call. When you are implementing in the back end, you will know which one to implement, right? So this is a common protocol which every developer, even in fact QA, should know it. This is part six of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Make sure you are following all the previous tutorials and we will try and complete this journey covering from basic to advanced. Alright, so let, before we talk about the HTTP methods, let's take a minute to understand CRUD operations. You talk about any website, it would have CRUD operations, right? Now what does CRUD stand for? It stands for create, read, update and delete. Create means creating a new resource, right? Like adding a new user, adding a new task, adding a new story, sending an email, new email, etc, etc, new transaction, anything that you name it. Read is usually that you are reading resources from the server, right? So there is no transaction there. It's analytical, which means you are reading the data. It's only read only, right? So you're only fetching the data. Update means based on certain conditions, you are updating an existing record at the server. Delete means you are deleting a resource at the server side. Right now, how do you relate it? You can take a sim simple example of users, right? So creating a user, reading a user, updating a user, deleting a user, right? Of course, there could be many more um, use cases like find users by city, by state, by role number, by department, by category, by tax, etc., etc. Right? So I'm just giving you that high level that anything and everything in web applications is a CRUD operation. Now. How does that CRUD corresponds to our HTTP methods, right? So we have commonly used uh, HTTP methods which are post, which is nothing but posting data from UI to server, right? Hidden way, secured way to create new resource. Get is nothing but requesting data from the server. Put is nothing but it's update, right? It's like you're putting some data based on certain condition for updating or modification. Delete stands for deleting a method at the server based on a certain uh, criteria or condition, right? So those are the four frequently used HTTP methods. There are other as well, like patch, etc. but we don't use them that often, right? So if you talk about mostly any web application, two tier, three tier architecture applications, they'll mostly be running on this post, get, put and delete. Internally, you can relate to them as CRUD operations, right? So create, let me quickly note it down for you. So just so that you know, so crud and post. So how do you relate it? Create, you can, so you can say whenever you do a post, it's equal to create, right? So let me write it the other way. So whenever you do a post HTTP call, you're creating a resource. Whenever you're doing a get, you're doing mostly reading, that is read, right? Now read can be one, can or can be many, right? Now, put is nothing but equal to, you can say, update operation, right? And delete is, of course, delete functionality in the applications, right? So that's how you should relate, and that is what I want you to understand in this particular episode. In the next episode, we are going to start implementing routing, extremely important topic, and that's why I covered this HTTP uh, methods and CRUD, because in the next routing application and uh, tutorial, we will learn how to configure those routes. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you are enjoying the J Express JS tutorial series. If you have any comments, any feedback, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer and review them. Thank you so much for joining. See you next time.